Hello and hi to everyone. Today we will discuss about Russia, whose president um, Vladimir Putin calls for international settlements based on blockchain and digital currencies. Russian President Vladimir Putin believes a new system for international money transfer is needed to reduce dependence on the big banks and the third parties. He is convinced that cross-border payments relying on digital currencies which means uh, cryptocurrencies and distributed ledger technology which is DLT will be much more convenient. He said that this system can be created using digital currency technologies and distributed ledgers. Uh, the Russian leader said Putin was speaking during a conference devoted to artificial intelligence AI and organized by the Russians, Russia's largest lender Serbank. During his address, he emphasized that financial flows and payments between nations are currently under threat amid tensions, tense relations between Russia and the West. Because the West has uh, stopped payment to Russia including USA, so you now the Russian people know how it feels when the money supply stops. We all know very well that under today's entirely illegitimate restrictions, one of the lines of attacks is through settlements, blocking payments or cash and our financial situa institutions know this better than anyone because they have been under section for a very long time because they are exposed to these practices. What are these um, practices or illegitimate practices? Nobody is giving cash or money which is a national currency like United States or Euro to the Russia. So in this way there is only way to get out of this sanction and it is through the digital currencies which are cryptocurrencies we all know which can be transferred without knowing anybody and nobody can censor it just I have to put my password or countries have to put their password on the uh, desktop or mobile and the payment can be sent to the Russian uh, Federation or uh, whichever the address of the Russian government puts on its website. So, all, uh, so the money can be flown from all over the world to the Russian account using a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin and VeChain. Uh, Vladimir Putin was referring to the sanctions imposed on the Russian Federation over its invasion of the neighboring Ukraine which have severely limited its access to the global finances and market because Russia cannot access any uh, market or any ATM of the any world like uh, Europe, USA, maybe Korea, Japan because it is under sanction in India. They, they say that your country is under sanction, we cannot allow access to our banks and their ATM. So you have to deal on its own. And getting out of frustration of this uh, types of uh, restrictions, Vladimir Putin now says that the cryptocurrencies are the legitimate form of payment and we can uh, transact money transfer like your money can come in our country, our money can go into Russia through the cryptocurrencies like USDT, stablecoin, also VUSD, etc. According to a report by the Prime News Agency, he also pointed out, today the system of international payments is expensive with correspondent accounts and uh, regulations controlled by small club of states and financial groups who whoever is powerful can control he can say to other countries no you cannot uh, send money to russia otherwise we will stop giving you money because you are also dependent on uh, our because of imf and because imf is in, in the pocket of usa with and it is uh, international payment is also expensive yes they, because the banks and charge western union charge 5% 10% of the money you send they take it as a fees and in the cryptocurrencies or digital currencies the fees are very less minuscule of what the banks uh, uh, charges so it is very inexpensive very easy very fast uh, uh, otherwise the uh, countries uh, uh, group of leaders uh, go along with their relatives uh, friends dear they go uh, to the inner uh, country uh, to for their welfare but uh, instead they uh, they um, travel the world uh, uh, goes to the hotels stay in the five-star hotels uh, tours and travels watch movies and then come back uh, 
uh, spending all the taxpayers uh, peoples of the country's tax collected uh, and then comes there and says we have we, um, uh, we were on the Russian trip uh, for this internal payment system and the deal is final so it is very expensive there nobody needs to take his family to another country for a world tour instead just you have to type few words as your password on the desktop and the money is received in a four five second or ten seconds into the Russian Federation account which will they will post on their website like mm, the government of Russia's Bitcoin address is this one these uh, 44 words is the address of the Bitcoin Ethereum Litecoin Binance coin which and you can send your money through these cryptocurrencies and we they will get the money in the uh, digital currency in the, this form or in the stable coin forms based on the technologies of the digital currencies and distributed ledgers it is possible to create a new system for international payments and much more convenient yes it is very very convenient you can see 5 10 second it all takes to reach from one wallet to another wallet or from my pocket to your pocket or your pocket to the binance exchange or from exchange binance exchange to your pocket or your wallet so this is very very convenient and very very fast super fast ultra fast but at the same time completely safe for participants and completely independent of the banks yes it is very safe we all know bitcoin is running for 12 years uh, ethereum and we are running for five to eight years so th without any problem binance coin is also running for five years without any uh, problem in their blockchain so it is completely safe robust and uh, has been uh, uh, trusted by the millions of people because there are 12 million 12 trillion transaction has been happened this alone this one year in 2022 on the bitcoin blockchain so uh, the, so you can see how much uh, robust this system is and uh, it is a fail safe and so uh, failing on this at this moment is very very difficult or not possible blockchain is the engine through which uh, money uh, currency uh, transports uh, like a bus or a train uh, when we all only know that this is crypto this is address but when we send it is the uh, blockchain uh, it takes that uh, coins and uh, puts in the reaches in the Binance exchange or you, your wallet to my world the process is called distributed ledger technology on blockchain this is blockchain blockchain sends your money to me and my money to you this process is called blockchain it is uh, engine this engine which takes my coins to your uh, wallet and from your wallet to my wallet is called blockchain mm independent of the banks yes if banks wants to control now we have seen that ethereum is controlled by the banks or UJP morgan uh, usa banks because they the moment they uh, now they have uh, logged uh, their ethereum they cannot take it money for two years first they said the ethereum will be unstaked in six months then they increase the goal post but 12 months then they said in 2024 you will get your staked coin but in 2024 will they will also not get why because the moment they will unstake the ethereum becomes uh, a security uh, not a uh, like Bitcoin uh, not in not a commodity because they are getting money from by selling by uh, st uh, allowing staking coins because uh, because their money is generated by unstaking so uh, if it becomes security that is what USA wants the who, what is his name SCC uh, Gary Kensler the and when if it becomes a security it will be Mm, it will be uh, low, go for a very very long time under the uh, court system like you are seeing the with the ripple uh, two three four years nobody knows and so uh, ethereum has uh, lost most of most of its legitimacy by this uh, staking uh, what was saying that 32 ether we needed you will get so much money after six months 12 months now in 24 and then now they have removed that also which means you will not get anything so locking is very very serious you should not uh, lock the uh, no ethereum holders will not get uh, their money with the interest so the same thing it is becomes interest bearing you log two years 
with the interest no they cannot give interest because if they give interest uh, the us will uh, us lawmakers will uh, consider it as security and you would also have to go with the very same painful pathway which ripple is going earlier us also has gone so this is very very bad for ethereum uh, putin explained also quoted by the crypto news outlet rbc crypto and bits media these are the two crypto news outlets running in the russia rbc and bits media rbc crypto russia has been mulling over comprehensive crypto regulation in the past month yes it has to mull because there is no other way uh, uh, aside from crypto regulations or crypto allowance or regulating crypto um, in the past months with the increasing support for legalization of the cross border crypto payments that you should legalize the cross border uh, cross border means uh, behind, beyond border crypto payments because if you will not legalize you will feeling the heat of this uh, no money your money is not flowing it is in the border of the russia and nobody is giving russia money because it has invaded the uh, ukraine uh, uh, long before uh, no ukraine is just an excuse for selling their old weapons USA is selling their old weapons to the Ukraine at a discount which has been uh, junk junk which have become young not used for 50 60 years so they are sending their money uh, to so that you can buy our uh, tanks and missiles etc and and when it comes to welfare of the people of the USA the USA government uh, blocked their 40 million dollar fund which was for the welfare of the United States people but they uh, okay the 40 million the same dollar amount which should, which would be sent to the U- ukraine in the form of military equipments so nobody is, uh, is here for uh, our uh, people's uh, welfare this is all for um, all drama everybody enjoys the fighting you know, somebody is selling their equipment to etc etc very complex uh, um, cross border crypto payments in september in september the financial authorities in moscow started developing a mo- mechanism for international cryptocurrency settlements so this is september october number season so t- for two months it has been developing a me- mechanism so that the international crypto transactions settlements are settled which means in a few months or 4 5 6 uh, maybe one year uh, uh, they will allow the uh, cryptocurrency settlements which which means that russia will open its borders for uh, bitcoin payments ethereum payments litecoin ethereum binance coin v chain polygon this uh, uh, it will accept this payment so which will in uh, the which uh, bull market which will promote which will be catalyst for uh, uh, bull market and in 2020 next year 2023 and 2024 is having ha- having accompanied by this um, russia's acceptance of cryptocurrencies will uh, trigger will initiate the next bull market so the, so we are seeing that the uh, this cannot be stopped and more and more if russia accepts el salvador el salvador is also accepting uh, one more sent kids is also accepting so these uh, slowly and slowly countries are increasing Mm, so uh, so the field of coin uh, crypto market is going to be very huge in the next 4 5 years there will be no other current currency will stay except for the cryptocurrencies because it is very very safe to use very fast and without any uh, expen- expenses um, a report recently revealed that the russia and cuba both under sanctions are already discussing this matter so russia and cuba are all already in under sanction so if russia has to send money to cuba it can, the only way it can send money is through bitcoin or stable coin um, busd vusd usdt usdc or cryptocurrency though so there is no way maybe they are already exchanging money through the cryptocurrency and uh, slowly and slowly mm, the crypto world will erupt in the next 4 5 year next decade so this was a small piece of news our discussion to where the we, with the increasing adoption of the cryptocurrencies we are all, all learning i am learning you are learning so we are uh, so that's our small piece of news thank you bye